What up, Get Kit family? It's your boy Bobby G. Welcome back to Get Kit's Gits. I'm relaxed, I'm refreshed. I'm ready to talk to you about guitars. Guitars are my passion. I love talking about guitars. I'll talk about guitars all day long, even with my five or six subscribers. So listen to me, man. I want to talk to you about a guitar that I played for many, many years. It was one of my favorite guitars I ever had, man. Rickenbacker 610 from like 1988-ish, roundabout. I got this guitar, I don't know, 1996 maybe? Um, it was like the third real guitar I had. The first guitar was an Epiphone Strat copy. The second guitar was a Gretsch Clipper. And the third guitar was a Rickenbacker 610, folks. Basemart showed up one day at my place, man, and he had a Rickenbacker 610 that he got at this place in Long Branch called Guitar Emporium, right? It was a beautiful black 610, but he had like, the tailpiece had been like removed and had a Gibson stop tailpiece put on there, man. Now, the Gibson stop tailpiece was something alien to the guitar, but this actual guitar evolved from a guitar with a stop tailpiece, the 400 series. You know, before the R, the exploding R tailpieces were put on the Rickenbacker. The 400 series was pretty much the same guitar. George Harrison had one. One pickup model, he had two pickups put on because he was jealous of John Lennon. And anyway, man, so I got my grubby little hands on it after Basemark showed up. He said, look, man, there's another one in the store. It's a fire glow. You should go check that out, man. And I went down there. You know, and he showed me the fire glow guitar. Now, I had just bought... Like new tuning keys from the same guy, you know what I mean, like weeks before for my Gretsch Clipper. So I was like, do I really need another guitar? Or is this, you know, but unfortunately, like I said in the last video about the Gretsch Clipper, it had a floating bridge and I wasn't really sure how to do intonation. So I figured, you know what, safe and sorry. I got $500 for my little job over there at telemarketing place. So I'm going to get this guitar, man. And I got the guitar. And I love the guitar. I love it's right behind me right there. You see that Rickenbacker case? So let's take a good look at it and let's go down memory lane just a little while. A little information, not too much information about there, about the 610. You know what I mean? It's, it's essentially, like I said, a Rickenbacker guitar that was produced mainly in the 1980s and it sort of fizzled out, but it was a beautifully produced guitar, solid body guitar. Let's show you my copy, man. I have not checked out this guitar before I brought it down here in like years. <laughs> The reason it's Jeremy stock <laughs> when I last played it. So it might be in all fucked up condition. No, it's not. There it is. It still looks beautiful the day I put it away. Look at that. So here it is, man. Now I took the little little guard off of the um, bridge there because it really bothered me when I was playing it. But I have everything. And this guitar is, you know what I mean, the most intact of all my guitars as far, far as like, you know what I mean, being like in a beautiful condition in like original condition let's take a look here inside the pocket i always keep my pockets and it'll get a guitar case from somebody else as you know i keep the pockets instead intact i think all the case candy that this guitar came with is still here here's the original rickenbacker hang tag see that rickenbacker international corporation san anner this is, I guess, a, a letter about the Rick and Rock, Walker, Rick and Rocker. That's maybe your Rick and Rocker envelope, man. My God. Look at this. Rick and Rocker rag. Never touched. My old strap. I should take this out. I need this. Here's the aforementioned bridge cover. Here's the key to the case. Set. I don't think it's been used by anybody. Trust rod key. So it man it's a gorgeous rickenbacker i love this guitar I just love it you know what i mean but for some weird reason man the electronics were always shung out on it man they always were a little shabby you know what i'm saying man they weren't what they could be it was kind of upsetting man because it was an expensive guitar and they craft out a lot and i you know what i mean rickenbacker has like a policy that if you like mess with their you know what i mean controls and the lifetime warranty is voided so I never mess with them. I just, you know what I mean, sprayed electronic cleaner on them because I was afraid of, of uh, John Hall coming over my house and hit me with a stick. So anyway, let me uh, take you down memory lane and show you a couple old pics of me and the old Ricky. So I was just telling you, Basemark was the originator of the 610. There's a picture right after he got his. 
He didn't have it for very long because once he found out that that stop tailpiece was not original, all of a sudden in his eyes, this was not a good Rick. He's a real purist, that bass mark. So this is a rare picture of the two Ricks together because he sold his very shortly after that. This is the day I got it. Still in the exact same condition. Over by my mom's house in the living room there. Take care of my guitars, folks. You got to do it, man. Played it for many years, folks. This is some Fire Axe Brothers footage. Old bass mark with his little 4003. Bobby J. Bass mark. My brother. Always there to cheer me on and lend me a hand. Back in the early days, man. Some artistic college shots. Me and bass mark with our Rickenbackers in the living room. In the Derelict days, there's my man Ronnie. See Eric in the background. God rest them both. I'm the only one alive in these pictures, man. <laughs> e Rock. Yeah, man. So I played that Rickenbacker for many, 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 many moons. So, I'll give you a little taste of that, man. Many years later. What happened to that shirt? Alright. Let's see if we can get old Ricky's Electronics to cooperate with us for this final exhibition before we retire him to his case for the rest of my natural life. But listen to me, Rickenbacker. You're going to be an heirloom someday, and we don't want you getting passed up for all those other guitars. We have a lot of guitars out there. So behave yourself. Last Christmas I gave you my heart The very next day you gave it away This year to save me from tears I'll give it to somebody special Here's a little story about a girl I know I had a love and my love still grows Asking a fool that she never knew They said we'll keep away from her run around soon We said she liked to travel around Love you when she put you down People don't you put me wise She goes out with other guys Oh, Ricky, you still sound good. I still love you. Despite all of our triumphs and tribulations, you're still my gal. Fire Glow 610, Rick and Parker. Beautiful guitar, solid body. Not so solid electronics, though. But we'll overlook it. Because he was in good, 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 good. Good spirits. Peace. Peace. Grease.